afternoon folks so my workplace is shut down till the 29th I work in a pub restaurant so unsurprising that it's closed the right move I guess the Irish government has moved quickly responding to this situation my boss sent me a link to the COVID-19 pandemic unemployment payment program which lasts for about six weeks I understand I sent the form off yesterday anyway it's reassuring that some safety net is in place I think the vast majority of us understand why these closures and social distancing moves are required so these last couple of days or since the weekend really I've been cooped up essentially but staying in touch with family and friends back in the UK via Facebook and WhatsApp pretty much all the people I've spoken with seem to be in high spirits equipped with perhaps something of a warped sense of humour which I think is an asset in difficult times but like a lot of people, I can't stay 100% isolated. I have to go out for provisions occasionally or just step out for a little bit of fresh air, making sure I'm not doing anything which puts myself or other people in danger. I don't know if I have it. I think I'm okay, but symptoms can be mild in a lot of people. Some people are asymptomatic not knowing doesn't concern me very much I'm not an anxious or panicky person I'm not a flippant one either we're all part of a community and we all have a responsibility to look out for one another fear is appropriate not panic not gloom or pessimism but, yeah, a fear informed by reason, with feet on the ground. I've never really been the most sociable person. I do, as it so happens, tend to spend a lot of time alone reading or writing or lounging around being a lazy fuck. I do enjoy that. Point being, I don't find it hard to be alone. And I'm privileged in the sense that I'm able-bodied for the most part. And I have my independence. Not everyone is so fortunate. So, yeah. I don't have this attitude of, I'm alright Jack, so everyone else must be. That's a trap. And yeah, I've seen that outlook manifest in a few people, sadly. Most of my concern right now is not so much for the state of the world or the state of the economy, but it's for my elderly relatives and elderly people in my area of South Dublin and older people generally, more vulnerable folks. My aunt is in her mid to late 70s and has a pre-existing lung problem so she needs to be careful right now. She is a germophobe with a hygiene obsession though, so that's a plus I guess in this environment right now. So she won't be taking any needless risks. We're all caught up in this, aren't we? Locally, globally, people everywhere. Crisis can and does tend to bring out the best in human beings it really does not everyone but yeah communities do come together and look out for one another generally so let's bear that in mind moving forward <laughs>